I love movies, but the disadvantage to the large collection of DVDs is finding the DVD I want to watch at the time I want to watch it. The answer to this is to copy the DVDs onto a hard drive and organize the hard drive in such a way that it's easier to look them up. Being in one place, you can look through the titles of the DVDs on the hard drive. Like so many that advocate copying DVDs to a hard drive, I copy the DVDs to a hard drive that I own. I don't copy other DVDs to hard drives I do not own. One of the things I find interesting is the warning that we have at the beginning of a lot of movies. A copyright proprietor has licensed this disc, including its soundtrack, for private home use only. All other rights are reserved, and that's what we're doing. It's called free use. We can copy any disc we want as a backup. We're not using this beyond the scope of what they want us to use it for. Now, what I find interesting in these warnings is... The definition of home use excludes the use of this disc at locations such as clubs, coaches, hospitals, hotels, oil rigs, prisons, and schools. And I find it odd that oil rigs are put on here. Okay. So let's get on with what we're going to do. This is going to be done inside the terminal. In order to get to the terminal, you can do a Control-Alt-T to open the terminal. What I'm going to do is use the DD command in order to copy the disk, the uh, DVD in the disk drive, to a location on my hard drive. Now, if we look at this command, it says uh, DD IF, IF is input file, equals slash DEV slash SR0. Dev slash SR0 is my um, DVD drive. Now, you can get the DVD drive address from the disk command. If you were to type D-I-S-K into the search of the menu, then you'll come up with, and in my case, it come up with two items, and you want the first one. If you click on the DVD drive, it'll show you the address of the DVD drive. And in this example, I highlighted it for you. The address of my DVD drive is slash D-E-V slash S-R-O. So that's where I'm inputting from. Now, the next part of the command is OF equals. OF is output file. What you need to do is put the address of where the output file is going to be at. In my case, it's at the slash home slash golden slash videos slash, and then this is the actual output file. In this case, it says jackreacher.iso. So I'm going to put an ISO file in the directory of the videos. This ISO file will then be able to be played just like a regular DVD player in the same application that your DVDs are played in. This particular file ran twice and I highlighted the error in the file. It has a so it has an input output error. Now if we look at now if we look at the one uh, below it, where it says Red Sparrow as our output file. It has a record in, record out size, which I highlighted, it's 7.9 gigabytes. Now, if we look at the Jack Reacher file, and I highlight the size, it says 1.3 gigabytes. This one is not going to play. It has an error, and it's also too small. What they have done is made it so that we can't copy this DVD. Most DVDs can be copied. And like I said, Fair use. You copy DVDs that belong to you, not somebody else's DVD. Normally, the DVD doesn't say 7.9 gigabytes. Normally, it's 4 point something. It's not normally uh, less than 4 point something. So if you get less than 4 point something, normally it will not run. Now, I have had some have an error in them and have around 4 point something gigabytes, and the movie does play. So that's really how simple it really is to copy a DVD to your hard drive. If you like this video, then click like, and thanks for watching my video.